Keys will be. Yeah, Dan may have to word it. The what? underground portion of the improvement shall be charged. The underground out. materials. Underground materials. Is that, is that good? Yeah, I guess. But, I mean, you do have a little bit out of the ground because it's going to go up pole, but Dan can word it to where. We understand what we're talking about. We're not charging you for the pole for the transformer Correct. on the cross arm. Which is what we've been doing. When we hit doing. the ground, that we've, waterproof wire right. is going to be coming. Which, to be honest, is a uh, big in the trail. Uh, <laughs> what do we charge? No, no later. No later. Okay, so I'm going to put underground right there, and then you finish over here. So Dan just needs to word that, however. No labor cost charge to the customer for underground service. Overhead underground primary extension. Now this is uh, out in the country. Uh, you know that big piece of property that's across from uh, Pino's house, next to Jim Hood? Yep. 98. All right, that's our lines going out there, and, and I've got to check the territory, but I think let's just use that example and make an assumption without looking at the territory map that that would be in town, okay? You're going to have to run a line in there. Okay, to serve multiple mm -hmm. single family homes, maybe there's going to be a subdivision of 25 units. Should any customer request that primary service be extended beyond existing primary lines, the town shall determine on a case by case basis mm -hmm. the cost billed to the customer. The customer will obtain and convey all necessary easements to the town of Blackstone. Okay, the costs are to be billed to the customer. Now, you guys can determine whether you want to charge or not charge. And that's how we, we left it nebulous. If you want to say specifically, it shall be the bill to the customer unless otherwise determined by the town council. I'm cool with that. If you'd like to put a little bit more in there, that it shall be charged to the property owner unless otherwise directed by the town council. For example, and that doesn't just say for a, uh, a house, but let's assume it's an industry. Mm -hmm. Let's assume somebody wants to put factories on there. I don't know, maybe somebody wants to put a hotel in town. And they come to us and say, we, we need to extend the primary service quarter mile. Okay. Does the town, we want to have the discretion for everybody to decide whether we're going to charge them for the primary service. Okay. To state it correctly, should we just say, it shall be billed to them unless otherwise appeals it to the town council. Because yeah. again, if you if you extend your line for a single family home, go a half a mile. Eh. But if you do it for an industry that's going to be using a ton of electricity, we can eat it. I mean, we. You get the idea. Yeah. We want to have you guys be able to say as part of our incentive deal. Mm. Yeah. That we've decided we're not going to charge you for this portion of the infrastructure because we want to incentivize you putting your restaurant, hotel. Mm. Okay, so where, is, where was that? I think you're going to have to take some of it out. I don't know if it, it says case-by-case case basis, but I do think it needs to be that you shall pay for it unless otherwise directed by the by town. town. You shall pay. The material cost. Shall pay the material cost. material cost. For all primary extensions unless otherwise directed by the for town council. Primary right. extensions. That makes sense to you? That's mm -hmm. what we're trying to say. Unless we want to have the ability to say, yeah, we're going to have a 250 person employer in town and we really want to do this. Well, it's prohibitive to build $200,000 a line or $100,000 yeah. a line. For you know, instance, what we have been fighting with Southside Electric, Southside Electric at the town shop mm -hmm. for the gravity property. And their policy is? $250,000 is what you it's going to You've got to pay cost. for the primary extension. So we, we too Correct. have the primary extension. Obviously, we don't have that many places where you know, apply, mm -hmm. but it gives you the ability to sit down and say, "I'm going to do this." Okay, so shall pay material cost for all primary extensions unless otherwise directed by the town council. Otherwise, Ooh, it's uh, you know that's contagious. <laughs> Y'all cool with that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it is advertised for public hearing. Do you need to read anything else? That was it. Mm -hmm. Of the necessary easements to the town. Okay. They've got to give us the easements at their mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. Is there a, oh. perhaps a motion to recommend that to him? So moved. Thank you. I'm going to ask the mayor to refer something to you guys that I assume would come to y'all. It's called full attachment fee. I'm going to use Tessie. To help me get them. My research on them indicates that we may 
be saddened by some of that because I think that Shinto and those guys. Now, in Northern Virginia, they're getting about $7 a poll. That's, Northern, that's Northern Virginia. Northern Virginia. Problem is, we don't own all the polls in town. Eric has asked me several times about doing this, and I've been remiss about getting it done. Um, but I think we're going to present to you guys the facts and figures that I've put together on poll attachment, and then you make a decision whether you want to proceed on. But I've got some data that I'd like to. You, know, you, want, you want to add that to this agenda? I believe. Okay. I think I'm ready to at least have a good rational conversation about it. All right. Anything else? Huh? Anything else coming <laughs> before the committee? No, thank you for the help on my itinerant merchant thing. It, is. it says 519. Here's a whole attachment between big letters from March 22nd, 